Welcome, everyone, to a very special bonus episode of Hashtag SSS Pod. Today, we are going to be predicting the AEW Revolution 2021 pay-per-view, which will be airing today as you listen to this. Um, we have, I don't even know how many matches, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight matches on the show uh, with a lot of gimmicks, honestly, on this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, what, buddy? Okay. Okay. Uh, we will start. I guess I should say, if you haven't, uh, okay. if you haven't listened to one of our prediction shows before, uh, how we do it, we pick a match, we assign a point total to that match. Uh, if you get the match right, you get those points. Most points wins. So, we are going to start. I'm on a two, uh, two uh, pay-per-view winning streak here, so... That all in this time, buddy. So the first match up we'll be predicting is the Casino Tag Team Royale. There are 15 teams in this, um, and I'm not sure of all the teams. So that's going to make it interesting for me because I'm not sure who all is in this match. That's all right. Um, but I have my pick anyway. Regardless of who I think's in it, I think I know who I'm going to go with. So. All right. This bad boy I'm trying to make Jericho in the shot, but he's just not going to show up. There he is, right there. That's all right. Come on. <laughs> um, I am going to go with the Casino Battle Royale. I am going to go <laughs> with the Casino ta- Tag Team Battle Royale. I'm pretty sure they are in it. I am going to go with Pride and Powerful from the Inner Circle for two points. So you think, okay, that's fine. All right, all right. I'm going to go with Hawk and Ray Phoenix for one point. Yeah, that's – that was my second option, uh, Pock and Phoenix. I feel like they'd probably be another good one to win this thing. So uh, the second match will be another tag team match, this one. Is Miro and Kip Sabian versus Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor. This match is probably the least like match people are way into. Uh, this match is, you know, not much build here. Not a lot of. I, don't, I really don't. Um, not much build. Eh. We had a wedding crash and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, you you can you can pick this one then. Uh, honestly, I think I'm gonna go with the with the heels getting redemption, which is weird. I think I'm gonna go with Miro and Kip Sabian getting the win, and I think because Miro needs some, he hasn't done hardly anything since he's been in AEW. Yeah. So I think he's gonna get the win here. I think. I think they're going to get their revenge for them spoiling their wedding. Uh-oh. Yeah. And I'm going for four points. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I was thinking Miro and Sabian before we even started this thing because I feel like he needs more – he needs a win more than Cassidy and Taylor. Um, he yeah. has to do something. He's done no, absolutely nothing since he's been in AEW. I mean, it's been absolutely. Hey, I got a question. Okay. When is Trent coming back? You know what? If he's like coming back soon, well, if he's coming back soon, maybe maybe Miro beats them. And that leads to a Miro trip match, which I'd really be into that. I'd be down for that. Um, so, 
I'm going to go Miro and Sabian for one point because I'm not too confident in that. But um, Hangman Adam Page versus Matt Mar- Hardy in the big money match where the winner receives the loser's earnings for the first quarter of 2021 because why do we care about that? I mean, honestly, as <laughs> wrestling fans, why should we care about who gets the money? It... That's what it's about, Ryan. If it was a sport, whoever wins gets more money. Okay, so they can claim it's a sport during this match, but then, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go Adam Page here. If they give this win to Matt Hardy, that would be a mistake. Adam Page needs a win. Needs to be built back up a little bit. Because um, I do feel like he's a future world champion. So, they need to have him do freaking something. I mean, he needs to get built back up and hopefully he can win yeah. and move on. Um, so I'm going to go Adam Page for five points. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going with Big Money Matt because he's Big Money Matt and he ain't going to lose his big money. So here's what I'm thinking. He wins this match. And then it's going to somehow lead to Hangman Page. Like, I don't know. Somehow he's going to have to get redemption for losing all his money. Like, he's going to be down on his luck or some shit. I don't know. But I'm going Matt Hardy for two points. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go with our first women uh championship match of the night as the women's championship will be on the line as Hikaru Shida defends against Ryu Mizunami who won the whatever tournament that was yeah um yeah I mean this is tough I mean I would think that she is gonna win this because I don't I don't even think that chick is fine, but you never know what they're going to do. Uh, I'll go Sheeta for, do I still have two available? No, you just used two, Nathan. Oh, son of a bitch. You got three. Three. Sheeta for three. Um, it's weird because... If you weren't going to push this woman, why would you have her win the tournament? That's my thing. Yeah. I mean, you had her win when you could have very easily just had one of the Americans win and had them win it. Her putting her in this match makes me think this could be the moment. But again, I, yeah, I'm with you on the fact that I don't even know if she's signed to the company. Yeah. So I don't know if putting the title on her, I don't know if they're going to do that because I'm not sure whether or not she's even signed. Um, which makes it interesting. Um, God dang, I, I feel like it's not time for Sheeta to lose yet. I feel like they really like her. They think that she's, so I'm going to go with Sheeta for, I'm going to have to agree and say Sheeta for three. Uh, did you have Britt, the Britt Baker match yet? Oh, I guess that I didn't see that. They are doing a – that's on the buy-in, huh? Yeah, Britt Baker and Rebel. Versus- Rebel's going to wrestle. Britt Baker and Rebel versus Riho and Thunder Rose. I guess we'll do that. I forgot about that. Um, so there's nine matches, I guess. All right. I didn't even see that until right now until you mentioned it. I love you, buddy. I love you too, buddy. Um – yeah, so <laughs> um, I am going to go – actually, I'm going to surprise some. I'm going to go Baker and Rebel. All right. For – god dang it. I forgot about this match happening. Now I got to – oh, well, we're already in it. We can't change it, so. Nope. Uh, well, I'm going to go Baker and Rebel for four. That's a lot. Uh... I, didn't Britt Baker already beat uh, Thunder Rosa? She beat her in the tournament, didn't she? 
Nah, I don't think that was. Oh, wait, what? Oh no, Thunder made it to the finals, right? But she got beat by. Yeah. I'm pretty no, sure. I meant like if they they had a big match where yes, it, yes, I'm pretty sure. And Britt Baker beat her, so I'm gonna go Thunder Rosa and Rio for I guess five. <laughs> All right, the face of the revolution ladder match. This feels like it was oh, man. together. Oh, man. Um, we've got Cody Rhodes, Scorpio Sky, Penta L Zero, Miedo, Lance Archer, Max Caster, and an a t- a opponent to be determined. Uh, it's hard knowing that we do not know the mystery opponent. That makes this I, very... Yeah, I um, my one point. Yeah. Uh, I just gotta get lucky. I just gotta get lucky here. So here's what I'm gonna say. All right, you go first. No, you go first. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with somebody that hasn't had a shot at the TV title yet. All these other guys have already had their shot. You know? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go Pinta. He hasn't really got to do much in AEW, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. Yeah. Kind of sucks. So I'm going to go. This is probably going to cost me this uh, prediction, but I'm going to go Pinta for six. I'll tell you what. Um, I was leaning that way, but I think... Max Caster being thrown in there threw me for a loop, honestly. Didn't expect that. Um, I would say it could be the mystery opponent, but I have no idea who that's going to be. I have an idea who I think it could be. What's that? I think it could be Ethan Page. Nah. Question. I got a question. Do you think this mystery opponent is going to be the mystery person that Big Show signed? Um, no, because um, Tony Khan said he is not in that match. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So it's not him. Way to ruin it, Tony Khan. Yeah. Um, I think it could be Ethan Page. Um, but I don't think that's who's going to win. I think it's going to be Lance Archer. All right. And I think Archer's going to take the title off of. Little, little Darby. All uh, right. That's Archer for six. I'm liking it. We both could be wrong. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yes. Three more it matches be, to go. We could have be, got... Could, could be Cody again for all we know. Yeah, fucking probably. Um, The AEW Tag Team Championship match. The Young Bucks versus the Inner Circle. Jericho and MJF. Um... I, I, this, could I, go, this could go one of two ways, in my opinion, Ryan. This every- could either be this could either be the end of the inner circle, or or they win these belts, and this makes the inner circle just continue on forever. Either they're going to end it now, or it's never breaking up. One of the one, one of the two is going to happen in that all this show. Yeah, and um, God, I hope they're done. Um, even though I think the smart decision on AEW's part would honestly put the titles on the inner circle, as yep. you, that would make for better possibilities. You know, you could have Pride and Powerful go after him. You could have Sammy Guevara come back with a partner. Which, let's be honest, the Young Bucks never needed the title. True. They can win it whenever they want. I mean, so as much as it's going to pain me to say this, <laughs> as much as I don't want this to happen, I am going to go with the inner circle. All right. But I'm going to put eight points on the line. Oh, my God. I'm putting all my eggs in that basket, buddy. 
Yeah, and I'm going to be right there with you because I'm going inner circle. So I think they're going to play the long game with the inner circle. And I also think that maybe if they don't play the long game, in a couple of months, we might have champion versus champ, uh, tag team partner versus tag team partner, a little Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio action, Jericho versus MJF at uh, at uh, double or nothing. Tag team champions fight each other. So I'm going to go uh, inner circle for seven. Okay. Uh, two more matches and one of the big ones. It is Sting's in ring return. Woohoo! As Sting and Darby Allen take on Brian Cage and Ricky Starks in a street fight. Let's be honest, Brian Cage and Ricky Starks should win this thing. From a from a like realistic standpoint, because you've got skinny Darby Allen and old man Sting. Yeah. But it's Sting. But it's a street fight. And so it's also weapons are available. And it's Sting, who is apparently a superhuman that's sixty seven years old. Yeah. He's not that old, but, you know, he might as well be. Ah, you can go ahead and go first on this one. I think you almost have to go Sting and Darby Allen, story-wise. But Sting's gotten the better of them the last couple of times. So... Now, I'm, I, I can't do it. I'm going Sting, Darby Allen... Or eight. Uh, They're not going to bring Sting. I mean, you would think they'd bring Sting in to put him over, put people over, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think, I think you can't. I think their their idea is you got Sting in his very first match in AEW. You don't want him to lose. He's sixty four years old. He doesn't need to win. What is he? What is the rest of the move for Sting? Why? I don't know. A, I don't know. That never happened. B, the fact that he's probably going to win this match pisses me off beyond belief. There's no reason <laughs> in 2021 that Sting should even be wrestling a match, let alone winning a match. I don't care if it's a tag team street fight. It's not believable at all that Sting could hold a candle to Brian Cage or Ricky Starks. And just at a protest, I am going with Team Taz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I lose. I am... I, I refuse to pick Sting. I'm not doing it. And I'm doing that for seven points. <laughs> <laughs> refuse. Re- All right. A terrible match, by the way. That is good. Um, absolute dog manure that match is. <laughs> All right. Your main event. <laughs> That's the clip. Your main event in an exploding barbed wire death match. And we had. We had the best match legend that nobody knew uh, on Dynamite. We had um, the Japanese legend who, let's be honest, most casual fans probably had no idea who Hitoshi Anita is. Anita, yeah. whatever his name is. But, uh, yeah, this is an exploding barbed wire death match, which basically means uh, no rules. And I guess the barbed wire is going to explode if you hit it, I guess. These always feel campy to me. These like gimmick matches I've, like this. I, I don't. I've never watched one of these. Like I've seen highlights, but I've never actually watched a whole one of these matches. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I saw one, an ECW one, and it was not good. And I just I, the last barbed wire match AEW did, it didn't. There was not as much blood as there should have been because it's barbed wire. In a second. Yeah, and. Exploding barbed wire. Uh, um. So who goes first on this one? You know what? It's my turn because I for, I won't last last. Um, this is Omega for nine. There's no way. Um, Mox is gonna lose and go take some time away to be with Renee and hopefully be with Renee because she is pregnant after all. Um, but then he's still in in New Japan champion, so. Maybe not. I was going to say, I think he's going to take some time off too, but I think he's going to New Japan. What a freaking freak. The, like, dude, take some time. You're going to be a dad. Like, <laughs> Maybe that's why he's doing it, Ryan. Right? He's got to get it all out of his system now. Well, yeah, but this is this is 100% Omega's going to win this. Um, and this will be the end of this feud, and Moxley will 
probably be off AWTV for a while, hopefully. Um, because yeah, let's be honest, I, I it's getting kind of stale the same thing every week with him. So I I think he takes some time off, he can come back in a couple months or so and be better than ever. So that's that's what I think. Omega's taking this for sure. All right. Um, I'm going Omega 9 also. Yeah. No uh, I don't think Omega's uh, title reign's ending with Moxley. I think it's going to end with, uh, I don't know, somebody else. Somebody else is going to take that belt. And it ain't going to happen probably till double or nothing. Maybe even past that, honestly. Yeah, it probably will be. I mean, eight out uh, of four to three title reigns, and they've all been pretty good. So, Right. All right, so we got some bonus points here. Um, we're going to do two of them. And since both of them might be a little tricky to figure out, we're going to make them both worth three points. Ooh. Uh, who do you think's in that ladder match? You said Ethan Page. I Is said Ethan Page. Yes, I said Ethan Page. Is there a reason? He's nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, All right. he's nowhere else. <laughs> You know, decent in the ring, so where he'd be okay in AEW. And I mean, WWE hasn't picked him up yet, obviously. So there's only one other yeah. to go, honestly, unless he goes to like all right. right. So I'm gonna go with somebody that's on the roster for some reason. I mean, that's more than likely probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they made it a mystery opponent, though. That's kind of weird. Because they have to have that intrigue. They always do this, and it. Yeah, like it's yeah. usually not someone big. No. Um, so I'm going to go with uh, mystery opponent is going to be gonna be Dustin Rhodes for some reason. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. Right. No. Wait, wait, wait. No. It's going to be Shaq. Fucking hell, get out of here. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. It's going to be Shaq. God. Yeah, right. he's getting redemption on Cody Rhodes for putting him through those tables. He's going to powerbomb him through some tables off the ladder. Fuck, yeah. off the ladder, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going Shaq. All right. All right. Uh, now, this is intriguing. Obviously, it's the signing. Yes, and so Paul White said that it's Hall of Fame worthy. That doesn't mean it's Hall of Famer, it's... Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah. So, who you got? Well, and Tony Khan also on an interview uh, with some podcast or radio show, I think it was Busted Open, said that it is, he said he's super excited and it's one of his favorites. Which I don't know what that means because I don't know who Tony Khan likes. He likes are... a lot of people, but I didn't really. Right, so he, he was a big, um, big ECW guy back in the day. Like he watched all, he did all the tape trading. And you're you're, all you're the... thinking along the same lines I am, I think. Uh oh. So. I'm going to – they said he's going to wrestle a lot, which I don't know how much he's got left in him. But I think it's Rob Van Dam. Okay. We're not thinking the same. I had it narrowed down to three people. Okay. I had Kurt Angle, but then yeah. as soon as I started thinking about it, I was like, well, they said Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah. And already in. So then I was like, well, Rob Van Dam. I always thought, but I'm going to go off the wall. Okay. And I'm going to go with somebody who maybe not a lot of people were thinking of for this. And it may be right. a little bit of a letdown. Um, he's in the hall of fame, but not by himself. Really? The person that I think it's going to be is Bully Ray. 
it would be a hell of a letdown. Don't get me wrong. I would be super disappointed if it's Bully Ray. But for something, for some reason, something in my head is making me think Bully Ray. All right. I mean, well, there were some crazy people out there thinking it could be a lot of people. Let's be honest. Well, it's not going to be Cena. It's not going to be Brock Lesnar. It's not going to be CM Punk. You can rule yeah. those three out immediately. There's no way Cena's going to leave. There's no way Punk. Well, but, and and if they were going to make it, one, all right. So if it was going to be one of those three guys, I don't think they're coming in with like I think there'd be a lot more hype. They wouldn't be just like, hey, they're going mystery person. They'd be hyping the shit out of that. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors that it could be Christian, but I'm yeah. pretty sure he signed with WWE. I don't know for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, here's another thing. Uh, I was going to say somebody else until they said he was going to wrestle. Mauro because Ronaldo. Tony Khan, Tony, Tony Khan spilled the beans on there, on there, on that busted open thing. And Fucking said, Tony Khan's he, ruining it, dude. He said that there's going to be some, he, there, there's, there's going to be some matches. And he said matches, plural. So, I honestly, whenever they first said it, I, I was thinking Mick Foley. Yeah, that's that was my first thought too. I was thinking Mick Foley's going to come in being an announcer or something. I thought Foley and Angle like it could still be Kurt Angle. Yeah, he said he wanted to wrestle more. I mean, another name that I've seen thrown around is Mark Henry. Yeah. But again, I'm pretty sure some of these guys are under Legends contracts with WWE. Like Henry, I'm pretty sure is. Honestly, I like Mark Henry, but I think that one might be a little bit of a letdown too. I tell you what, I'm I'm gonna say it's 100 percent gonna be a letdown for most people. I think most people are expecting the biggest name ever, and it's not gonna be. They need to lower their ex- lower their expectations. I I think if it's Rob Van Dam, that's not a horrible letdown. It's okay, buddy. I'd be I'd be okay with it, but he's just not the same as he was. The thing with Rob Van Dam, though, is WWE's literally putting out a documentary on him on the network within, like, next month. Oh, hey. So, Maybe that's why they're doing it. <laughs> they found out about that. Yeah, they're doing an Icons thing, a new series on him. And so they did one for Yokozuna. They're going to do one for Van Dam. So it's like, would he risk it? <laughs> would he do that? Well, maybe maybe Tony Khan found out about it, and that's why he's doing this. Like, ha ha, stick it to the mayor. I don't know, man. I I just have a feeling it's going to be a letdown for a lot of people. I do too, honestly, because they kind of because they kind of just announced this out of nowhere. They waited, like, yeah, like a week, like Wednesday before. If it was a huge name, they would have been hyping this for a while. Unless they yeah. literally just signed the person. Or they have an official. Man, if it if if it was one of those three guys, holy crap! That would be a game changer for sure. I just the thing with Lesnar, there's a reason he's not in WWE right now. It's because he lives in Canada, and it's kind of hard to travel back and forth right now. So unless Tony Khan has a way of doing it, the Vincent Man doesn't. Because I'm pretty sure yeah. if Tony Khan threw a number at Lesnar, Vince is going to match it. Yeah. Keep him at home. Vince would pay Lesnar to stay at home if he had to. He, Vince is. I don't see John Cena ever. No, he's doing too loyal. Anything. He's too loyal. And Punk, they would be. They would throw too much money at him to be worth it. Because he even said yeah. he came out and said, "I'll wrestle again for an exorbitant amount of money." Yeah. Yeah, I just don't see them doing that. What if it's Goldberg? He's still signed WWE, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many names it could be. Hall of Fame caliber, but what's that really mean? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it could be somebody that could be a future Hall of Famer. It could, could be somebody be a, in their prime right now. It could be a woman, for all we know. I don't yeah, know that it's specifically true. said it's a man. It could be like Victoria. <laughs> um, No. <laughs> It could be Zelina Vega, though. No. See, if it's her, that's that's that'd be terrible because you can't say she's a Hall of Fame worthy. And then, 
that's not. She's good. I don't know, dude. So we'll see. Well, this is going to be an interesting uh, development here, and I am pretty sure um, we're going to be let down. Do you want to do a live thing for this show? Hmm, possibly, but I don't know how. I, I guess I can figure it out. But oh, I mean, we we kill it. I guess. I guess I could come over. Yeah, we can. Well, no, we can just get on the Zoom or Zoom. Have it. Have have this going while we're watching it. I guess we could. Yeah, we could just do it over Zoom. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I could try it. I'll get it worked out. Um, yeah, but yeah, it should be an interesting show. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm like at a like a four or five for this show, honestly. Yeah, I'm not too hyped. I'm not into death matches, so I'm just not. And then I don't have much hype, hope for the in, the young bucks for Sim Jeff and Jericho match. The ladder match might be okay. I'm not into battle royals. It's just. <laughs> Why are you not into Battle Royals? Yeah, they're the same. We'll see. It should be. It might. It, it, I mean, it'll be a good show. I just don't. I'm not really too excited for it. So. Um, but we are. It's, yeah, yeah. it's going to be interesting. You hater. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see, um, what transpires and who's who. Who is the, who's the mystery man? Uh, so. Should be fun. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this bonus episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy AEW Revolution. Join us, I guess, for the YouTube channel where we'll be uh, doing a Zoom call live uh, live reactions. So, I guess check that out. I'll post a uh, thing on Twitter. So, follow me on Twitter at SobrianT. I'll post a thing. I'll post the link to the live stream and all that fun stuff. So. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this bonus episode. Uh, check out all of our other podcasts as well, the wrestling, the sports, and the video games, all up on the uh, wherever you're listening to this podcast. So, thank you for listening. Uh, and as always, for Nathan, I am Ryan. Reminding you to always score if you can, save if you must, but always suplex when necessary. Later.